Alien oh. activity continues to oh. surge within several major mm. cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. I mean, this map is fine. It would be a lot easier if I had some sort of squad side threat. For soldiers with higher mobility. This is a huge map with Central. This is Big Sky. very, very open lines of sight. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. I find it very difficult to get meld on this map, typically. Alright. Elaine Picard. I knew the second that I read his name, he was a man we could trust. Moving out. On the move. I want to break line of sight here. Headed there now. Moving to position. The sector had to do something weird. I'm glad that I didn't pull a pod, by the way. That was like actually a fairly dangerous move. Come get some. Roger. It's a big map though. It's hard to pull pods. Oh, missed the target. Wait a second. Only one guy moved there? I swear there are two guys moving. I'm on it, Commander. Thinking we just hit this car with a couple of grenades so that we can keep moving forward. Also, run the Overwatch. Was quite safe. It turns out that waypoints like vastly improve the experience of playing a game like this. Who could have guessed? Orders confirmed. On the move. Okay, that move. That move is one of the saddest moves that I've ever made. I tried to pull the overwatch, failed, and moved to the only tile I have available to flank this enemy using. Let's go, explosive grenade. Catch. Hmm. Hmm. We're not playing XCOM 2 anymore, are we? Grenade out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apparently those are more difficult to explode in this game. Yes, Commander. Is he getting that flank? Oh my. Wait, and then he didn't shoot the guy he was flanking? I'm not sure who played that turn worse, me or the sectoids. Got it covered. Kill confirmed. Do you even shotgun now? Aye aye. Kill confirmed. Ouch. Oh, wait. Keep moving. We. Solid copy. 
spent like a turn longer than I would have liked to on that pod, but we're still quick enough to I'm rolling. try to get melt. Reloaded. Cars don't explode at all from regular grenades. Huh. Go loud. That sounds amazing. The AI is just terrible and predictable. Wait, I'm confused. In Long War 1 or Long War 2, the AI is terrible and predictable. I don't remember if we can flank that tile from here. I don't think we can. I'm pretty sure that I would remember getting screwed by it over and over again if you could. So given that I don't remember it ever happening, it's probably not a thing. I still don't know what that means, Dragonlord. The AI is terrible and predictable in Long War 1. I think that's what you're saying. Although, I could not have predicted. Moving out. Um, <laughs> Sectoid flanking my guy and then shooting at the guy in cover. Okay, the answer is yes. Aye, aye, Commander. I don't disagree with what you're saying about Long War 1, but I'm trying to decide whether I agree that that isn't true of Long War 2. I feel like Long War 2 just has different behavioral trees and people are still getting used to them so they're not quite at the point where they can say exactly what's going to happen yet but they're going to get there Solid copy. Back in. but long war one has some really big ai problems like the I way that the ai that. treats suppression for when example the way that the ai always takes a well, the way that the AI selects which shot to take, I guess I'll say, because it doesn't actually always do the same thing, but the algorithm for how it's choosing is very, very gameable. It was nice that this guy a hunter. Instead of, oh, I don't know, doing something. It really sucks when the aliens actually do something. But mutons always take kill shots, even when flanked, right? Aye, aye, Commander. Like, it's not like there's any sort of Heading out. uncertainty when you're unpacking what the AI is going to do on its turn. Like, other than its chance to hit, and maybe the order that it goes in, I don't know. I don't actually know if that's uncertain or not. Affirmative covering now. These guys have good defense. 52, 52, 49. Feel a little bit uncomfortable.
I'm sure my team would love to get their hands on that thing. I have good news, Shanna. It's flying straight at us. It's a heavy abduction. I don't remember if, if I stand here. Yeah, I don't know if I stand here. Do I get to flank the guy? Also, like, everything about this drone pull is terrible. Um, what your plan is to let your rookie tank them right now. That gives you a fairly good idea of how bad the situation you're in is. This doesn't really risk that much. Like, if I pulled something, I would probably just be able to leave the guy on that tile, honestly. I'm not really pulling Fog of War from here. I'm gonna, like, pull a Sectoid pod out here and it's not gonna do anything. Nice. Okay. Soldiers hit their shots. So, drone AI. The constant struggle is remembering exactly which thing you do to abuse the AI. On my way. Being a little while. Smokes in the air. Any rebalance mods or special second waves? No, I'm just playing a 1.0 campaign and going for max. Um, just because it's fun and I don't have any like preserved campaign where I did that. I wonder what the most challenging enemy my team could kill right now would be. Negative damage. I'm confident that we could kill the top. I guess I'm like fairly confident I couldn't kill a Cyberdisc. Kill drones with ballistic assault rifles and rookies. I think that it's fine to take these shots. It, I was getting a little bit uncomfortable. If there's only two though. And I'm pretty sure that when you like press the button that puts your guy with the shotgun on Overwatch, they stop attacking you or something. I don't know. I don't remember exactly how it works. Just let this guy flank me. Let's do this. this guy come. I want the melt canister, is the thing. Okay. I'm not sure why the AI decided it wanted this move. Yeah, then. Oh. There is still a smoke grenade on those guys, though. So that's reducing the chance to crit. I fought three pods of three. Probably one more pot of three on the map. That was not the damage that I was looking for. Quite. There you go. That's the main reason to bring a battle rifle at all. Looks like everybody's leveled. On the move. I'm about to start keeping score. On Overwatch. Okay. 
Reloaded. Ready to rock. Gotova. Now you just have the problem of our team being very slow and the melt still being a long way away. I heard sectoids. Roger that. Doesn't really mean much now. of anything. There was almost Copy certainly that. going to be at least one more sectoid on the map. Time to motor. Good to go. I'm on the move. On the move. Начинаю наблюдение. On observation. Audio cue, cool. Footsteps. This moves good. Alright. Иду. Интересная штука. Heading to that location. Yes, Commander. Oh, don't show it to me like that. That's cruel. Ten four. I feel Commander. Back online. Come get some. Sectoids one drown. Alright, a little bit of damage is nice. No! Oh, you could totally feel that coming too. Alright. It's fine, there's not really a realistic expectation of getting meld on this. We go backwards and try to play for corpses. I'm gonna try to get all the corpses, but I'm going to do it by moving forward because I'm a madman. You're so bad. Jimenos! Now what do I do? Wait. <laughs> Copy that. Wait, how do I actually kill it? That move seems unpleasant. Interesting. Roger that. Okay. I hadn't left cover in a while, so it was time to leave cover again. Heading there now. And gone. Sekhmet shouldn't be able to kill anybody on six hit points. time that everybody who is promoting has promoted. Yep. All right. Affirmative. Shoot you in the head. Accomplished. I mean, we didn't take wounds. We got every corpse, I want to say. Yeah. This wasn't that bad. We will be in touch, Commander. Getting some melt would be really nice though. He is cute. I'm actually gonna stop streaming again. Uh several members of the council have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts soon, we've recovered. I didn't do work However, yet today. we should be careful in choosing what items we release. The research team may not have discovered their true value yet. Commander, the artifact we're about to sell to the council hasn't been examined by the research team. I'm sure Dr. Volland would be disappointed if we put financial gains ahead of our own research and development.
Okay, I don't have enough money for a satellite uplink. I don't have enough money for another satellite, so we need another mission. I gotta work, dude. The people of the world need me to uh, deliver them. books to enhance their children's learning abilities. This is my true calling in life. No, it's like... Yeah, whatever. It's something that I have to do. Double motion tracker is nice. You're gonna have to, like... Ooh. Activity over Mexico. Please don't take North America twice in a row. Request from the United States? That's exciting. They want a satellite, is what that means. I'm actually not going to get to start my satellite uplink. You wouldn't do that to me, would you, game? There's no way to do that to detected. me. Alright. I knew that it wouldn't hurt me like that. We have eyes on the bandit. Really, really bad interception on the CFO though. Not a great start to dogfight, staying in. Oof, nice hit. Gotta stay in there. Um, it's actually really hard for the scout to kill you. Like, even if you just never abort in these engagements, it's really, really, really hard for the scout to kill you. I think that if you haven't looked at how much damage these UFOs do, it's really easy to see that you're over halfway dead and the engagement is like less than halfway done and think that it's likely that you will actually die, but it's just not. The scout has a tiny chance to crit me and even if it crits me here, it's not always killing me. It has to crit on a high damage roll to begin with. You did not die, Joker boss, you rocked it. Urban block, so that's one very specific map. Doing a very good job of rolling support on our high aim soldiers. Let's try re rolling this again. Much better. Okay. Elaine Picard. I think Picard's his own thing. I think it would be disrespectful to name him after one of you guys. I mean, you're wonderful people, but there you go. This is going to be Paloward, my 77 ink <laughs> specialist gunner. You know, that's how you spell your name. For some reason, in my head, your name is six letters long, but I know how it's spelled. But like the fact that I just typed it and it's seven letters long is inexplicably odd to me. Probably reroll this as well. Rocketeer, like, nah, eh, she's actually an okay rocketeer. It actually does add points to your total press. Uh, <laughs> it didn't used to, but I changed it so that it would. Hey, there it is. Um... Like, I mean, that's a fine Rocketeer. Be okay. That's like all I can really say. I'm not really excited about promoting her into a rocketeer on the 8th of March. Shell Woods. Nice to get three hit point soldiers promoted now. I think Gunner Scout is a pretty strong team.
You want me to use the AI Tweaks mod? Um, I'd have to relearn how the AI worked though. And then it would like be different. I just want a very stock Long War 1.0 campaign. could definitely be better. Definitely be better. I want one flashbang for the outsider, I think. Sure. Is one smoke grenade enough? Probably not. Seems like a team that would want two. in the right places. Let's see how hard Mr. Elaine Picard can carry us. Visual on the France is sending an urgent mission request. It looks like the UFO went down